Hey, good to see you. Welcome home. Good to see Ross, I, thanks. I missed you. Philip! Hi, it's hey. great to have you home. I think it's been years. Oh, I meant Happy Valentine's Day. For me? For you. Thanks. Yes. Philip, I've arranged it's, the lunch. Yeah, Philip, uh, buddy. Rick! Hey, hey! Good to see you. No. See you. We made it. Listen, let me tell you, this guy is the best friend you could ever want to have. He came all the way to New York after us just because he thought we were in danger. Yeah, Rick and I stayed there to, to protect Philip against that crazy Bradley Rains guy. Oh, honey. What, what Mindy meant to say was that we just wanted to get Beth and Philip back to Springfield as soon as we could. Right. We, we just wanted him to be around the people who love him. Philip, uh, about the luncheon. It's to welcome you home. It'll just be the two of us. I have some plans I want to discuss with you. Uh, listen, I think this would be an awfully good time for me to accept your invitation to lunch, Alan. Let me tell you, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, that's a great idea. And, um, I'll, uh, Beth and Mrs. Raines can come, too. Is that okay with you? Whatever makes you happy. All right, great. Mrs. Raines, would you do me the great honor of attending a welcome home luncheon at the Country Club? And, uh, would you, would you bring this with you? <laughs> oh, such a beautiful flower. I could hardly refuse to. Have it. Um, would it be all right if I asked Mike to escort me up? I've come to rely on him a great deal. Sure, no problem. The more, the merrier. Thank yes, you. I like that attitude, and Philip. Don't you, Alan? I, I've come to rely on Rick a great deal, so he will be escorting me. Now, honey, my feeling is... I'll see you, buddy, all right? That if you and I really get to talk to each other, we'll be able to straighten out all these misunderstandings we have, won't we? Uh, listen, Philip, would uh, you care to come with me in my car? Listen, I, I need to, to speak with Alan for a minute. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you there, okay? Yeah. Well, whatever you want. Thanks what we both want. Well, I was hoping we could have lunch alone so we could discuss those plans. Uh, listen, the only thing that is really important to me right now is that you understand that I think of Beth as my wife. We had a ceremony in New York, and I want you to honor it in the same way that you would honor a legal marriage certificate. That's something I very much want to discuss with you, but later. Right now, the only thing that matters to me is the happiness I feel because my son has come home. Lee, this belongs to you, huh? You just keep it, little brother. No, 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 really. These all came together. They look like one big happy family. I don't see any reason to break, break them up at this point. You know, I'm, I'm glad you're here, Josh, because I've been going over these proposals of Ross's, mm -hmm. and I think if they were implemented correctly, this here could be the beginning of the end of Spalding Enterprise. Well, I agree. I think the proposals are terrific. Good. Now, if we just join forces with... Billy, come on. We've gone over this a million times. I don't want to talk about hey, it anymore. Hey, hey. Right? Hi. And here's just the force that I was hoping we could join with. What's going on? She's bright. She's dynamic. She's a go-getter. Did you see the way that she handled Ross Marler's campaign? Just think of what she could do if she was working for the family. And she is family. Now, wouldn't it be a shame to let town like this get away if we could have her working with us? Do you catch my drift, John? Yeah, I, I catch your drift. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't think of it myself. Oh, uh, well, just wait a minute. Before we go any further here, why don't you two explain what exactly what you have in mind for me? You know, Josh, we might have to do a little restructuring. No. Now, unless you want to be demoted, our positions are going to stay exactly the same. You're the president because that's the deal we made, but all decisions go by me first. Well, I'm just talking about what, handling all the stuff that we've been letting slide around here. Like what? Oh, darn, I mean, taste that. Well, you got the coal aid, I mean, the magic got to be tested. Everybody's got to keep the office coordinated. Uh, that Nobody is, knows. uh, excuse me, that is not why I got my business to No, no, to wait a minute, wait a minute, darling. I know that's not why you got... What Billy is trying so desperately to say here is LTA is a small company, but we're growing rapidly. What we need right now is something along the lines of an office manager. Yeah. Somebody like that would have an important effect on the way things are run in this company. I mean, obviously, we've, we've kind of let the office procedures here go to pot. And if somebody doesn't get a hold of that stuff real fast, it could affect the success of LTA, you know? He's right, Trish. Hey, you really could be an asset to us. And you'd be working with Ross. So what do you say? You gonna join the family? Yeah. But only because I agree with what Josh just said, I do have something to offer LTA that it's never had. <laughs> I'll say, a woman's touch. No, no. Welcome aboard, Miss Lewis. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Lewis. Now, I think you should start your official duties by making us a pot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> coffee? <laughs> hey, Billy, you know what you can do to your hey, little hey, coffee? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
fun. Hey, I'll make the coffee, really. It's no big deal. Oh, no, no, no. No, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, no, wait. Please. Hey, hey, what? Hey, you make lousy coffee. It's, uh, it's true. It's all right. I'll, I'll make it, but it's, it's lousy. Just, uh, don't plan on this being part of my job description. No, no. I make lousy coffee. You make lousy coffee? I did not make lousy coffee. Well, Billy Boy, <laughs> I think your plan's gonna work out just fine. <laughs> out here, you get used to the good natural things, like the taste of real cream. That's what makes La Creme Whip Topping different than this cool whip topping. See, La Creme is made with cream. It's not. And there's no mistake in that rich, real cream taste of La Creme. Buttercup? You did good. La Creme Whip Topping from the dairy folks at Kraft. Real cream taste. <laughs>